Swadik up and welcome to Thailand News Today. Now first addressing a bit of an inquiry we get quite often and that is why we only do five minute news. Well, the truth is, if it wasn't for all the COVID-19 news, which is now starting to sort of fade away a little bit, or at least here in Thailand, we'd be a little bit hard pressed to find more than five minutes of, well, interesting news to foreigners. So that's why we've sort of set ourselves a five minute target. The situation's constantly under review and we want to try and provide the very best and most informative program to you. But that's our reason and we're sticking to it. Let's get stuck into today's main news stories. A restaurant owner in the northeastern province of Maha Sarakam has surrendered to police after allegedly shooting his wife and stepson. Police arrived at the scene to find the alleged shooter, a 31-year-old, had locked himself inside. He reportedly fired a warning shot to discourage officials against getting too close. Police initially found the man's 18-year-old nephew shot in the back and lying in front of the building. He was rushed to hospital and is currently in a stable condition. More than 100 police cordoned off the scene and negotiators spent around three hours persuading the alleged shooter to turn himself in. Eventually the man surrendered. Police found the dead bodies of his 43-year-old wife and her son, a 23-year-old, inside. The man also surrendered the 9mm CZ handgun, which was reportedly used in the shootings. Following on from a story in the Tiger yesterday, police have now arrested four men after allegedly shooting a forest protection officer in the province of Lopburi. Lopburi is one of the central provinces of Thailand. The four men, identified as poachers by police, have allegedly confessed to killing the chief forest protection officer at the sanctuary. They report that some of the suspects admitted opening fire on forest protection officers to evade arrest while hunting illegally in the forest. Officer Kwan, along with two other officers, were on patrol in the forest on Monday when they came under fire. 62 staff from a hospital in Naratawat in the southern province bordering Malaysia are now in quarantine after coming into contact with a COVID-19 patient. The 45-year-old man arrived with flu-like symptoms and later tested positive for COVID-19. He'd walked into the hospital on May the 30th to be treated for flu. The director said he stayed in a private room on the 8th floor before being asked to switch to a cheaper room on the 6th floor. Later, he showed symptoms of pneumonia and tested positive for COVID-19. 62 hospital staff are now in 14-day quarantine. Thailand's COVID-19 crisis has affected millions, not all of them humans. Elephant camps in Chiang Mai and elsewhere in Thailand's north have been devastated by the drop in tourism, forcing some to close and have to leave their elephants without food to survive. More than 100 are now marching up to 150 kilometres back to their home provinces. Chiang Mai's Save Elephant Foundation has been promoting the elephants' return to their natural habitats, hoping that locals will be able to assist the elephants rehabilitate with their wildlife homes during this difficult time. Well, the elephant's hopefully in a better situation than this poor woman. Next time you're in an ambulance, check that the back door's closed. A video that captured the moment a female patient rolling out the back door and into a busy Bangkok road has now been viewed over a million times. The ambulance, lights flashing, was transporting the woman to hospital. As the driver accelerated along the Pracha Utit Road, the back doors flew open and the poor patient, strapped onto the stretcher, was suddenly plopped into the middle of the road. A few motorcyclists ran to her aid, as did the driver of the ambulance. They carefully picked up the stretcher, popped it back in the back of the ambulance, checked the back door was closed this time, and continued on their way. As for the patient, we're not sure about her condition or if she survived the ordeal and the short unplanned excursion onto the city streets of Bangkok. Well, that's the way we see the news in Thailand today as things slowly get back to normal, very slowly, and there's still plenty of challenges ahead. In the meantime, we'll do our best to bring you all the daily news. You can subscribe here, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.